But composability, by the very nature of it, is limited to the composition that's available, the, the composing that you can do. Whereas with Thought Machine and Vault Core, you're not limited by that. You can build literally any product. And the most important manifestation of that is you can also build any product that already exists in your existing cores. Now, the core banking, it's almost its own mini industry within FinTech. I, I, I want to um, get your opinion on some of the products out there, some of the core banking ones out there. Yeah, I that do. Sounds, that sounds like you want me to talk about all of the competitors. I do, I wanna, I wanna, yeah, honestly. So, uh, um, right, SAP's core system. Well, so look, I think the way to think about it is there are different generations of these technologies. Um, and you know, if, you, if a bank is on a version of a mainframe, monolithically coded uh, core system, it is reliable, no doubt, uh, but it is incredibly inflexible. It is expensive to maintain. Um, and as consumers start to demand you know, more innovation, uh, it's difficult for banks on previous generations of technology to bring those types of innovation or those types of experiences to bear. Uh, so that, you know, that is problematic. Now, um, they were fit for purpose. Whether or not they are fit for future is a different debate and one that we would resolutely say they are not. Our purpose is to bring a new generation of technology to court. I always remember your CEO at Paris Fintech Forum yep. was on stage with uh, the CEO of, uh, of Temenos. Indeed. Talking about being cloud native. What's your, th what's your thoughts on Temenos? So look, again, without, you know, without, nobody's here to diss versions of competition. Temenos is a generation of technology uh, where you know, they, are, they are and continue to develop their technology. They're a very successful organization. But is it modern in the way that we are modern? No, we, we are built in the cloud, for the cloud, genuinely cloud native. That means that we use the best of the cloud technologies, so Kubernetes, Kafka, et cetera, you know, Cockroach, DBX, and so on. It's a fully microservice architecture. It's RESTful APIs around the top end. It is completely of this generation. Is Temenos or any of the previous vendors of this generation? No, they're not. And there are disadvantages to that. There is, earlier I referenced the smart contracts. In the main, any previous generation of core system is coded within, which means that you have to go back to the vendor to have a change to any product. And by product, I mean a bank's product. So a current account, a mortgage, a credit card, a loan, etc. You're having to go back to the vendor. Now, most of them will talk in the language of composability. So we can compose you a product. But composability, by the very nature of it, is limited to the composition that's available, the, the composing that you can do. Whereas with Thought Machine and Vault Core, you're not limited by that. You can build literally any product. And the most important manifestation of that is you can also build any product that already exists in your existing cores. And that means that you can migrate from what you currently have to Vault Core into a future and you can, you can carry across all of your existing products, which is why tier one banks around the world are attracted to Thought Machine and Vault Core, because they know they can build a digital greenfield bank over here, and that's great for innovation and new products and new offerings, but in time, they also know that they can bring across all of their existing customers, and those products will be exact to the products that the customer currently has. And that allows us to kind of sit in the market and go, we're great for new innovation, we're great for new digital banks, we're also great for migration programs, and that's different to what's gone before.